Hmm, would have been more fitting to hear those fire truck sirens that you just heard. I don't know if you heard them or not, if the microphone picked it up, but you know, and, and if I would have, have just done a, uh, uh, a drawing or a painting of a fire truck. Anyway, uh, guys, it is done here, Elsa here. Um, beautiful day here in Montreal, but hot as hell. Uh, it is typical, typical sunny day, and I was thinking about going for a bike ride today, but um, it's too hot, you know. When it's too, it's hot like that. It's not even, it's not good to get too physical, let alone go running and stuff and jogging. I mean, come on. Especially since I had the fucking cancer surgery back in uh, uh, April fifth. I mean, it's not a good idea to spend too much time outside in the sun. I think I do that enough as it is. Anyway, enough about that jazz. So I got the camera here finally with the right settings I want with the more of a correct uh, colors because I was uh, going to use my phone to film this because I find the color on the phone in the, f in the photography and filming is fantastic. But this camera, I have to set it this way. This is the Canon uh, HS Canon S uh, SX620 that uh, I was happy Canon replaced because the other one, uh, well, they weren't built to last very long. Anyway, and uh, again, I went. To, so the, I was using that camera to. Uh, the, I was using the camera phone, and I just was filming for like I think 30 seconds. It just shut off because it only had like uh, I don't know 20, 25 percent battery left. So this one, I had to adjust the color because I'm, I want to also not only impress you guys, but especially impress somebody enough to to want to sell this drawing to whoever you are uh, in North America. I don't know if I would sell this to somebody overseas. Because there would be more of a, of a chance something could happen to it. Anyway, uh, so uh, yeah, not right on. <clears throat> so uh, I wanted to show you guys this photo that I took, uh, which you've seen before in other parts of this series of this 52 Brill that was restored, ex Montreal Transportation Commissions. Uh, this in Granby, Quebec in 2004. And um, um, yeah, and uh, give me one second, guys. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, this bus was restored, and uh, it is the bus you see here, and um, I just want to cover all the points that I, I know I've mentioned before, but to other people who haven't watched all of these videos. And um, so I had this idea for a while to do this this drawing of this bus, or do a painting of one of these brills, because, you know, they're part of our public transportation heritage, as in here, or Toronto, or Ottawa, Thunder Bay, Calgary, and probably almost every city they were sold, just like the GM New Look that I've got right there that I did years ago anyway so um, yeah it's uh, very I'm very proud to have finished this and done this and and when this bus was restored as you can see it was restored in the colors that were in the 50s and earlier but then what happened in the 60s when these buses got old just like the GM old looks and the max they repaint them more this kind of a I don't know if I can call it military brown it's not very attractive as this but anyway and also they, you know, they kind of redid the numbering style and, you know, you had the tarot. Anyway, so, and then I thought to myself, well, you know, it would be really cool to do this since this bus did 30 years of service up until 1982. I figured, and I know for a fact that it served in the southwest boroughs of Montreal. Uh, uh, why not do it with La Salle Metro Station, which is, to, to me, one of the most exp impressive structures um, that we have in the excuse me that we have um in the city so um anyways you can see a lot of what i have here on the table that i used for this drawing these markers and some of these paints as well and uh moreover on that um so i did a little touch-ups that i had to make all little touch-ups i had to make here on the body of the brill all the uh, the lines before that were not necessarily there that needed to be corrected or adjusted same thing with the tires any kind of uh, over painting that i did um also uh, i fixed the uh, this triangle part here sort of the pillar of the structure which had lines on it that continued there painted all that too the sky i didn't want to paint it because i would already colored twice but it looked kind of like shit anyway um and um Anyway, I had, I had accidentally marked a little bit of uh, yellow paint that I had on my hand here that rubbed here. So I'm like, okay, whatever the hell with this, I'll leave that like that. But it was on the blue and it looked really bad. So it uh, gave me an excuse, I guess, to repaint the whole sky. And uh, also the cloud is not at all what I really wanted to do. I don't know, it just didn't seem to go well no matter how much I paint it. 
Anyway, whatever. It doesn't matter. It looks cool. It looks fine. It doesn't have to look amazing. It's a cloud, you know. And if you, by the way, you notice how it's wrinkled? That's because I'm painting this. I did this on paper, so it's not a canvas. So you see, even the bus has wrinkles to it. But funny enough, on the bus, I find it adds to it. And as for the wrinkles, anyway, I could set a stack of National Geographic's that I had on that last time to help the paper flatten out, you know. And, um, oh yeah, I also painted correctly the driver's shirt as well as the hat, or a little more correctly than before. It was kind of like half green, and it wasn't correct. And uh, a little bit of a, add a little bit, with just the slightest amount of paint, white paint mostly, you know, a little bit of a, the glare in the windows of the bus and here. And, and this was probably the most challenging part right here was the side windows, because I had to like, ab lib and figure out, you know, how am I going to make this look? You know, when you look at the brill here, it's simple because there's nobody in there and it's in the countryside, you know, it was at a car show, it wasn't in the city, but so here I'm just like, well, okay, Elton, you know, keep it simple and, you know, but I'm, uh, I'm very proud of it. I'm very happy, especially about the angle that it came out, the way, you know, the way everything looks together and um, show it to you, just trying to show you different fa fashions, showing it to you in different ways that I can and, uh, and I'm also doing that as well because, hey, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm a, as, uh, well, I was going to say in French, a pigiste, you know, like, um, like freelance type of artist, you know, I mean, I do the video things and, hmm, that's not noisy, no, not at all. And, uh, again, I'm trying to make money a living doing this, uh, man, you know how much I got paid for, uh, just got paid today for May, uh, YouTube video videos for May, and, uh, that was... Paid uh, just now five um, no four thirty seven Canadian four hundred thirty seven dollars Canadian doesn't even, doesn't even cover the rent so uh, yeah YouTube uh, revenue is down I'm still glad to have it but uh, so if you could make me a re a reasonable offer on this item I will ship it I can ship it flat I could ship it by tube uh, by shipping by tube is a little more expensive but and um, you know, uh, you have to make me a reasonable offer for this. I don't even, I have a number in mind, uh, but, you know, I want to hear anybody's reasonable offer. And please, like I said before, especially to you, Mr. Henderson, please don't waste my time and I will not waste yours. And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to mention your name, buddy, because I'm sure you're a good guy, but uh, you jerked me around there and I don't like that, so... Uh, that's one of the reasons why people, by the way, who sell cars on Kijiji, especially stuff that's special, like the classic cars, you know, they often write more than ever in their description. It's like no emails, no text, phone calls only, because it's just, people are just full of shit when it comes to sending texts and emails, you know, most people, and I get that all the time too. I mean, even selling, you know, nickel and dime stuff, these magazine ads, whatever, you know, framed or unframed. All time, I'm interested. Where are you? When can I come? Blah, blah, blah. And nothing happens. I just had a guy like that this morning. I don't know if the guy's coming or not. I mean, anyway, whatever. I don't know. Everything's good. Yeah, I know. I have to do some dusting there. Leave you guys with a little bit of a shot there of the uh, models I built years ago. Can't even tell if this is sharp or not. It's a pretty good little camera cannon made. Just too bad they didn't make the damn thing the last worth a damn. Alright guys, so I appreciate you watching that and have yourselves a great day and take care. Bye bye!